Hello everybody, welcome to match number two with the uh, Francisco Amati's take on blue-white mid-range. So, uh, we're a little heavy on the four drop side here. Uh, we do have a little bit of early game interaction, but we'll be kind of slow. This opt makes me... Eh, you know what? We'll see what this we'll see what this deck can do. See if we can uh, pull ourselves out of this, out of a draw like this. If our opponent does have uh, turn one, turn one hand disruption, it's going to be pretty effective. Okay, deck more salvage tapped. Not crazy about the implications of that. Okay, Cathartic Reunion. Well, we cannot do anything against that, unfortunately. Alright, so opponent does get the Narc Amoeba. And it looks like they will get their prized Amalgam as well. So we are in dire need of a land here. Let's go ahead and pay two and opt. And we'll keep that on top. I don't think we can afford to be too picky. <clears throat> Alright, into a cryptic command. So not ideal, not ideal. These cryptics are not going to do a whole much in this matchup, I don't believe. So I think what we'll do here is uh, we will plan to path the amalgam. I mean, fortunately, between, well, no, I guess this does put it back in the graveyard, but between the path and the settle, we, we might be able to pull out of this. Okay. <laughs> That's right. This new, this new nonsense. I'm not sure. So this card's cool, but I'm not sure why anyone thought it was a good idea that that card needed to be printed. To be completely honest, um, so I don't have a land. No, nope, they do have a lot of shriek horns. So to spare us some life here, we're just gonna gonna path this right now. So fortunately, our opponent did not have an exceptionally explosive draw, but uh, we we really need to grab grab some lands here soon. Um, okay. Wall has the potential to do a little bit of work. Come on. Targeting himself. All right. Sure. Okay. So it looks like our opponent will be able to get their land and play an amalgam next turn. Unfortunately, this guy does have haste, but we can use the wall of omens to soak him up. Uh, they do have... Two conflagrates in the graveyard, however, so we're going to be... Yeah, I don't think we're... I don't think we're in this at this point, but... All right, opponent on their upkeep gets another Narc Amoeba. Cheers there, Amalgam. Gets in for one. How many red do they have to pay to flashback? Two. I guess they do need double red here. Supposedly they do not have... Uh, 
I suppose they do not have a another red source yet, or a land in hand apparently to get their blood gas back. Okay, hmm, not a land, but. If I didn't know any better, this is one damage per card discarded. X damage by any number of targets, discard X cards. Okay. So we can, okay, there's a field of ruin. Alright, so there's a land. Brings us a little closer to our goal here. So if we can, uh, it's, it's asking a lot. It's asking a, a lot. But if we can somehow manage to get this ruined halo down. If we can top deck an untapped white source next turn, get this ruined halo down on conflagrate. They do have three blood gas though, so if our opponent has a land, we are we're gonna be smoked. So we can't even we can't even afford to field of ruin them at this point, unfortunately. Alright, so we'll block that gentleman there. Take two, go to seven. Opponent does have seven cards in hand, so let's see. So if we're gonna draw that white source, it's gotta be right now. It's not a white source. Let's see, what are our options? We cannot play our ruined halo, and we cannot afford to field of ruin our opponent, because then they will get they will get back. Uh, some nonsense. So if our opponent draws basically a second second red source, um, we are definitely a goner. So, uh, man, this path doesn't even look good either with that with that in mind. So I think, I think what we'll do here is just to avoid having to discard. I guess we'll just play this and we will choose to gain four life. Because if we can get one more white source, we can get the settler wreckage down, and that's not nothing. But that was that was unfortunate that we've only seen. Okay, so there's the land. Um, so now they have tons of power on board, tons of cards in hand. They can flash back there. Flashback, their little dude in here, and uh, and get us. So let's see. So we're just going to make our blocks as if we, as we do, and take take six, go to five. Opponent's going to tap their mountain, their city of brass, and then they're just going to conflagrate us for the rest of our health here. That's a sorcery. That's a sorcery. Alright, so Dispel is not looking good here. Right, there's it we're a zero percent chance to win at this point, I believe. Alright, we'll go to game two. Rune Halo seems decent. And I, I do like that our opponent did not see it, but they will, uh, of course, be bringing in nature's claims and things like that to take care of our of our rest in peace, which is a good one. So Supreme Verdict, not so good. Settle uh, does exile, so we're going to hold on to those. Um, I think Wall of Omens is actually pretty reasonable in this matchup. Let me see if this sideboard guide has anything on that real quick. Do, 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 dredge, yep. See with the out two spell snare two snap two click the vencer. All right, yeah, I can get behind. Okay, so he does want the dispels. All right, all right. So we can we can play that game. Um, he keeps in the verdict. So two snare two snap two click. We'll try it out. We'll see with the master. Go by what the master says here. He wants three rip, two dispel, one purge, two gear hulk. Well, we don't have two gear hulk actually. 
So to dispel. Let's see. Stunning silence doesn't really do anything. I'm not interested in shutting down their shriek horns. Um, all right. So we'll, I guess we'll grab a cryptic back in. Alright. So this hand I don't think does anything. Um, our opponent had a very, very slow start last game, so we're going to have to go ahead and mulligan here. Alright, so there's a the rest in peace. Um, rest in peace wall opt. Sure, I guess we'll hold on to this one. Uh, if our opponent has, has hand disruption, of course, this will go away, and it'll look pretty bad, but... Mm, wall, field of ruin, put that on the bottom. So like I said, I'm anticipating one of these, one or more of these cards, maybe not, not making it to the point where we can cast them. Yeah, Wall of Omens, definitely, definitely kind of a, an all-star in this, in this matchup here. Blocks um, both amalgams and uh, blood ghasts with ease. All right. So let's see. Opponent doesn't have any pressure on yet, so I think we're gonna wait. Play our play out our tap lands first. Go a little slower. And you also don't want to rest in peace right away either, because it feels really silly when you rest in peace and then they just uh, slam a, like a nature's claim. Okay, blood gas, narc amoeba. So now it comes down to how greedy do we want to get. So they don't have a dredger. They don't have a dredger in there yet. So I think I want to try and nail their first their first dredger if I can. So why don't we play at the wall here just in case they get their blood gas back? Ooh, a second rip is nice. And I think we'll plan on uh, probably playing out a rest in peace next turn. And I don't think we really have anything to fear in the realm of, um, okay, so there's a dredger there in the stink we did. I don't think we have anything to fear in terms of them messing with our mana base. Okay, so they, yep, there's a nature's claim and assassin's trophy. That's good to know. Yep. You can get your, get your blood gas there. Shame we weren't able to uh, catch this fellow, but so now, so they still don't have a dredger in the yard, but okay. So now they're now they'll get their stinkweed imp back in there, and another blood gas. Okay. So like I said, I don't think they have a way to mess with our mana base. Mana base. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab a fountain. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Okay, doesn't do a whole lot here, but. So we'll rest in peace now. That'll take out their dredger, it'll take back a faithless looting, and it'll cut them off uh, from one blood ghast. Gearhawk seems to be a pretty nice pickup as well. As soon as they uh, get a second creature in play, we can uh, slam that down. And um, keep, of course, Gear Hulk, Gear Hulk, our wall, and our rest in peace, assuming it, is, it survives this turn. Okay, it does not. That's fine. Guess we could have... No, we took the spell snares out, so... Mm, yep, island's fine here. So our opponent will have to start rebuilding their graveyard. 
which they are able to do quite easily, and in finding the, the t multiple dredgers, I guess. Life from the Loam, Gogor, Thug, Blood Gas. All right. Unfortunately for our opponent, we have another rest in peace, which I think we are happy to slam uh, this next turn as well. I want that one. Do I want to path this blood gas right now? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, detention sphere. So let's see. We could play the gear hulk, but I think what we want to do is our opponent does have our opponent does have a stinkweed imp in hand, but they have two blood gas in the graveyard, so I think we're just going to go ahead and play this second rest in peace. Considering they also have two life from the loams in there, so um, alternatively we could have let them return the blood gas and then tag them with the detention sphere. But they do have again a lot of cards that can interact with that uh, with that game plan. So I think they do still have all of their prized amyl glams. Okay, so here comes a stinkweed imp. All right. Some hard cast plans. This gear hulk's gonna be pretty good next turn. Faith is looting, alright. I wonder if they took out their creeping chills. I have to imagine they did if they got through this. They got this far into their deck and we haven't seen any. So for maximum value, we're going to hold the path. Ooh, Settler Wreckage is nice too. But let's just go ahead and uh, get this guy down. Okay. We'll click this one and this one and this one. We'll see what our, okay, looks like our opponent wants to keep their imp. That is understandable. But unfortunately, it will not do them too much good in the face of this path to exile. Second imp, okay. So we can get these with the detention sphere. Um, does open us up to them having uh, removal and getting our... Gear Hulk killed potentially, but I think I think we'll do that, and then plan on just pathing if it comes to that. All right. Okay, no path, or no nature's claim or other other spell. Okay, stinkweed imp number three. I think we'll just path that right now. Okay, that was good enough. Don't think there's anything I'd change here. Going into the next game, I uh, that felt that felt pretty good. Um, that's what happens, I guess, when you draw multiple rest in peace. Fortunately, our opponent still has not seen Rune Halo yet, so we'll submit like that. Let's see if we can sneak another one out. Out from the the jaws of dredge here. Once again, Wall of Omens. Uh, that's a that's a surprisingly nice card to have in this matchup. And unfortunately, in game one, I think we would have even been relatively relatively set up to to succeed if we would have managed to uh, draw some lands. So that was a that was a risk, and uh, 
So I, I don't think I'll I don't think I'll keep that hand again. Okay, so I think I can keep this one. Doesn't have I don't know how important it is to multi or grave hate or not, but uh, I think we're all right here. Now, depending on what our opponent does, I might uh, fetch an island here and opt trying to look for a rest in peace, depending on how explosive it looks like our opponent's draw might be. Our opponent just has a cathartic reunion here. They do. Okay. So we're going to get the dredge there. Dredge there, stinkweed imp. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so alternatively, let's see. What are the odds of us playing Ruined Halo and it not getting immediately destroyed? Probably not too good, huh? Well, I think we're... I think we're pressed into making that decision. And so with that in mind, I'm going to choose to not I'm going to choose to not uh, shock there and use the opt just cuz I think the life if this goes poorly for us, the life might be relevant. So now I'm anticipating our opponent immediately destroying this and then attacking. Um, but if they're doing that, then they're not doing other broken things and they're getting us one card closer to... Yeah, okay. They're getting us one card closer to uh, a settle the wreckage or something like that. So we will keep our path up here. And we're going to attempt to path one of these amalgams, because this is a lot of damage. Okay. So I'm going to opt main phase, pushing, of course, any lands. Detention sphere. Okay, okay. I'm going to play the sphere on the flyers here. Just because I think that gives us a little more a little more breathing room if we manage to draw into some walls. At the very least, if they blow this up, does this hmm, does this count as them being summoning sick or not? I forget. So, so far, let's see, relevant cards our opponent has in their graveyard. They have a pair of Faithless Lootings, uh, but no but no Dredgers. So, staring down a lone amalgam isn't, isn't, too, isn't too bad right now. Opponent's probably trying to figure out whether they want to flash back this looting, or maybe they sent up some other, some other horrible, horrible, wretched card in their hand, their little 
dredge bag of misery here. So now they have two dredgers. It's an opt. All right, so once again, I'm going to opt in my main phase here. Drawing a lot of lands. Wall of Omens would be would be a sweet draw. If we could draw Wall of Omens into a rest in peace, I think that would be just the best possible the best possible outcome for us here. Might be a little too much to ask, but oh man, that colonnade rears its ugly head again. Okay. So, uh, so this is going to be nasty, I think, one way or the other. I would like to play this. We haven't seen any blood gas out of our opponent yet. And I don't know whether they kept Conflagrate in their deck or not. So they kept Conflagrate, then we're just dead. We're just dead to that. Um, so why don't we why don't we play out a fortress here? I'm not gonna skip playing the fountain just because we already have so many lands. And we're gonna type in Blood gas, because that's something that can just kill us uh, potentially here with these double dredgers. So we're gonna do that again. It could have named, could have named the amalgam, could have named the um, conflagrate, but again, it looks like maybe our opponent took that out of their deck. Although unless unless this is a conflagrate right here, that'll be that'll be kind of unfortunate. Looks like it is opponents. Taking their time resolving that. And I guess the the upside to naming Conflagrate would be... I did this because I figured we could at least buff a negate. Okay, Cathartic Reunion. Uh, I didn't know if there was value in that or not. It made sense to me because I thought, well, if they get the blood gasts out, they're just going to jam them anyway. Um, but... If uh, if they if they see the two mana up, three cards in hand, maybe they'll think, ooh, they did keep in the creeping chills. Okay. So we're kind of, kind of at the at the point where hmm, we're gonna really need something good here, and that is not it. That is that is not not gonna do it here for us. So maybe. Let me know what your thoughts are on uh, mulliganing. How aggressive would you mulligan in this in this instance for for graveyard hate? So I think that's I think that's what it came down to. Uh, we kept on a hand with with what it was opt path rune halo something something to that effect, uh, thinking that we could maybe survive a little bit and then uh, make something happen from there. Uh, but just did not work out this time around. So, unfortunate, but I think they were some fairly close games. We did draw a lot of lands as well. I mean, the, this was like the exact opposite of the first game, where we just couldn't draw. I mean, even a Resto Angel would have been great uh, at, at certain points in this game. You know, we could have, we, we took probably two or three, two, at least two hits off of this thing, you know. Uh, a Resto Angel would have been great to help stunt some of our opponent's aggression. Uh, but yeah, we just did not get there. But again, I'm not. Uh, it could have been that that hand should have been should have been a mulligan. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Let me know how aggressively you think it's worth mulliganing to uh, rest in peace in a matchup like this. 
So, all right. Thanks for watching.